We have one thing to do today. Pick up our boat and take it back to the slip. exactly sure that we were going to be able to pick it up today because yesterday it was very windy and they had to stop launching boats and ours did not make it in the water yesterday like it was supposed to but apparently they got here pretty early this morning and started putting boats back in so we're in the water good to go homegirl's got her coffee what's that now there she is our power boat our first boat baby. Got to go get her back to the slip, enjoy her for a few weeks, maybe a month, and get her sold. Breakers on. Alright, documenting this. You need for me to get off the boat and see if it blows up. Okay, we're good to go. And what we're going to do is you're just going to leave it looped and back to me. So we're going to prep the lines. Yep, and then just back to me. If we can, can we try to get it underneath the other side? Okay, now you come back forward. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna prep that one too. And then you're gonna come up here and leave this one. I think a couple years ago you probably would have been pretty nervous about the sailboat that was in front of us. Very. It's, it wasn't actually that tight, but just like any boat around you is scary. Yep. The last thing you want to do is hit someone else with a boat. For sure. So I think obviously we'll ease down the river here. Uh, Keep going. There are a bunch of sailboats. 
just tied up to the side of the river waiting for the bridges to open. It's one of the big reasons why we got a power boat for up here in Chicago is we don't have to like wait like all these sailboats are. out there. I think we're gonna get it in this cycle, but maybe not. We'll just have to find out and see. Gotta put my life jacket on. We can't find our nicer life jackets. <laughs> so we're so we're in these guys for dinner. Kirsten made a big old hole in her pants. It's loud, the wind is loud. We're going at 28 miles per hour. That's actually pretty quick on the lake. Anyway, heading towards our harbor. It's starting to drizzle a little bit. We've been pretty lucky actually with what the weather has actually been versus what the forecast was. So, um, like I said about five miles on the lake is how far we have to go to get back to our harbor. We'll get there and we'll put the boat up and then it'll be a mission accomplished for today. Yo, we made it to the harbor and now we gotta go dock the boat, which is like, talk to anyone who owns a boat, that is the most stressful part of driving, owning, maneuvering, piloting a boat, whatever is the docking. We happen to have two engines on this boat, which is really nice because think of them like tank treads. You go front and back with each individual engine. You don't actually use the steering wheel a lot. And it's starting to rain quite a bit, so we'll put up a nice camera and only use the GoPro. See ya on the dock. Uh, your Uber is dropping you off now. Jackson Park dock. Perfect, that thank you. <laughs> All right, Andy just dropped me off at the end of the dock and let's go check out how good his parking skills are. Mission accomplished. We got the boat back to our marina. It's in its slip and it's raining. So it's time to go. <laughs> to be expected. This is how it goes. If it's not cold and rainy, it's not springtime in Chicago. That's right. So let's go home. <laughs> 